What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, come back for another special mycology video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at our dried up mycelium cakes that we are trying to revive here. But before we get into that part of the video, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and uh, enter in all of my uh, my giveaway here. So uh, all you have to do to enter that is just to be a follower on one of my social media platforms. That's it. Simple as that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. So these are, are our uh, old BRF cakes that have been dried up for about eight months. Uh, in the last uh, part of the series here, we went through and we decided to rehydrate these. And I want to make a special comment, and I should have recorded this part, but I didn't because I'm stupid. Uh, the water in here yesterday, I actually let these sit for two days. I let them soak for two whole days. So the water in here yesterday was this really yellow. And let me let me grab a let me grab old blue here for a comparison. Just like how dark that uh, the liquid is in this here, the uh, it was just it was just this puke yellow or pee yellow I guess not really puke that'd be weird um, so what I did was I drained all the water out and I refilled it and I mixed it up a couple times like that for a few hours in a row and then I kept on draining the water out until we got mostly clear water so I let them sit in this clear solution here oh, this clear water here for about a day maybe maybe not a day maybe like 12 14 hours we'll say um, so let's go ahead now and crack these tops off and drain out these water because I'm sure these are hydrated by now. So let me go grab a bin here to drain all this water out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, our uh, little bowl here. So what we're just going to do, um, and, and I should probably be wearing gloves, but since these cakes are already uh, fully colonized, the chance of them contaminating are pretty small. So I'm not really too worried about contamination and I just took a shower. So. I'm not worried at this point about contamination. So we just drain out all of the water uh, as we can. Don't have to be perfect. And then what I like to do, well, let me let me drain this one out first. Just real quick. There we go. Drained out. And what I like to do is I like to take the lids here like this and place them on top like so. That out of the way. Lids. Put them on the reverse way and not don't tighten them all the way make sure there's a little play make sure you can still move around uh, the, uh, the flat part here make sure it's still wiggleable wiggleable and that'll just allow for air exchange uh, to be present in there without going ahead and throwing holes and uh, into these like we have here without doing anything fancy like that and uh, yeah that's gonna be the video I'll uh, wipe off all the excess water off the top of here and uh, by the time you see this video I will be on vacation uh, the whole family's going up to Great Escape and it's gonna be a fun time so I will not be uh, available for about two days so uh, that's the end of the video I hope you guys like this uh, it's gonna be exciting to see if these will actually grow that'd be really cool so until next time keep on growing keep on smoking Hey, I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later.